Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've got a game gear to have a look at today. Swing you over to the blue map, see what's going on. If you've got a game gear, it's in screen isn't in great condition. Definitely in need of a clean. It's grotty and grimy. Put some power in, see what we've got. We got any power? Yep, yeah, we have power, but no display. Not sure if I'm getting anything. Oh yes, yeah, so I am getting something from the screen there. If I turn it off now, you can see. Let's try with a game. Got gaming. and nothing so overall it's not in bad condition and i want to say thank you to dan from new retro repair for for donating this to the channel for for content and apologies it's been a while but overall not in bad condition at all we've got a little bit of crud if you will or rust whichever works for you in there We swing the back off and have a look at the battery compartment. Um, I've seen worse. So I'm going to get it apart and come back to you when that's done. But we have one, two, three, four screws and a game bit. Maybe six screws. There's some in here as well. Now, anyone that knows, knows that the caps on these things are notorious for needing to be replaced. There we go, that's the board out. And of course, I can't separate this screen. So what I'm gonna do is to keep that in place. Just put that screw back in there. And what we can do, I can have a look under the scope and have a look and pay attention to this area and to over here as well. So, and we'll have a look, see if we can see anything aside from the capacitors that might need our attention. So all I'm seeing is just a lot of crap on the board at the moment. Those capacitors have leaked everywhere. So they're definitely going to need replacing. What about the two small boards? Yeah, and as you can see, that is not attractive. Looks like it's had work done before. We notice that these three are not square from factory. I would have would have expected them to be square. Obviously, they're not. This lovely lump here, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's rusty. And then the power board, which again is just a lot.
corrosion. So I think what we need to do is get these two boards out in particular um, and then see where we go from there. These two, I'm certain, will benefit from an ultrasonic clean. Same with all of the buttons and all of the screws and anything else that you can see. Clean it, dry it, and we'll come back at that point. Right, so these two have been through the ultrasonic uh, along with all of the buttons and the shell. And this one hasn't because the screen is still attached. Um, let's put these boards back together. Together. So sound is going to be on the left and we still have absolutely nothing. Right, get it apart, time to do some recapping. So for the recapping there's two different types of boards. Your boards may differ. I have two chips down here and therefore the ones, therefore the one, the caps I need to change are here, 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 not sure about this one, these two most definitely, and this big boy over here. Keep the montage. So that is recap complete. Has it made a difference? Do we even still get power? Okay. Game's still in there. We we got sound sort of. Definitely got sound. Shut up. I think that display's gone. We can try one more game. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
Oh. Don't know if you guys saw that for a second, but... Absolutely no difference to the screen. The fluorescent tube is working. I believe it's, it's something going on up here. I would not recommend working on a board like this, by the way. <clears throat> Purely for testing purposes. And I know that if I get slapped, I get slapped. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a screen fault. I have been playing around, as you can hear, we've got the sound in the background which is fantastic and um, but we have no display at all now interestingly nothing around this area makes a difference nothing around this area makes a difference however if i take a brush with some IPA that does make a difference so off camera I have tried heating up here but I believe it's a screen fault so that is what it is I want, I want to reiterate once again throughout this video you have seen me handle a bare PSU. It's idiotic. Don't do it. I've already had a couple of small zaps off of this. Don't want to see you guys do the same thing to yourselves. Um, I have a rough idea of what I'm doing and where I can handle. I know where the voltage is coming in and going out. Um, or getting out rather. Don't do what I did. But... Having said that, that's a bit bittersweet because it was good fun, really, really good fun. The recap evidently worked, but we have a screen issue. Well, there's nothing I can do about the screen. I'm pretty sure there's some glass BGA chips. So that is what it is, but all is not lost because we, I, we, the royal we, can, I can get one of the Macwill. I think it's Matt Will screens um, and we can mod the hell out of this one over a series of videos and see where we get to. But yeah, a bit unfortunate, but there we go. We can't win them all. I am going to get a win <laughs> on one of these videos though. But there you go. Thank you all for, um, for coming out. I appreciate you watching. Um, this may or may not be a long one. It depends how much of the recap I leave unedited. And until the next time, take care of yourselves and each other.